everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we're talking about the audiobook of The House Upstairs. I gotta read, no. <laughs> The House Upstairs, as written by Julia Fine. Uh, this is a book that popped up um, on Scribed, which uh, I, I have a link down there in the doobly-doo. Uh, I don't get paid for it, but if you sign up for it, you get a free month. My kids get a free month because it's my kids' account that you know, is down there. Um, so if you want to help me uh, help my kids out and get yourself a free month of Scribe, click on that, do that. If you've already had the free trial, you can't have one again, I'm sorry, but give it a shot. It helps my kids out and I appreciate you. But uh, I, I saw this one on Scribed. It was one of the featured uh, audiobooks. I clicked on it, started listening to it. I, I was enjoying it, so I continued on. I've been doing that quite a lot lately. Uh, I have less and less time to read nowadays. Another reason why I hired uh, a, an editor. Uh, he just kind of came into... Uh, came into my life at the perfect time because I, I just wasn't able to get you guys content out and now with his help I am able to. But this book uh, is very, very heavy themes of postpartum depression, um, postpartum in general. If you have any triggers regarding that, probably stay away from this book. Um, so that's the only trigger warning that I would really give to you. Um, there is a lot of there, this book is very cerebral, and I'm not 100% sure that I understood all of it. Uh, there is a, a, one of the characters um, is a an actual uh, author who lived, um, who it's a real author, and this is the fictional, fictionalized account of their haunting of this person, but it could just be the postpartum depression. It could be all different kinds of things. I enjoyed this book, but I'm only going to give it four stars because I think certain parts were a little too vague. Um, I probably should have read this um, instead of listened to it. This book is more cerebral than I had uh, than I had anticipated. I think that's where I'm trying to get with this. Is this book is one of those books that I had to think a lot about but it's hard for me to think deeply while I'm listening because that's how I learn is listening. So the, I, I was seeing some of it and I wasn't able to see other parts and it, it, even at regular speed, I usually listen at times too, but with this one I listened at you know just regular speed, I was still missing certain things. Now, do I wanna go back and read it? No, because I didn't enjoy it that much. If it was something like Helen Phillips uh, the Need, which is a book that I've reviewed on this channel before. Um, I think Helen Phillips did a better job with this topic. That's just my personal opinion. Julia Fine did <laughs> fine, um, but it wasn't, I don't know. There, there was something missing from this one that I found more engaging in The Need uh, by Helen Phillips. So if you're looking for a strong, uh, surreal, a uh, cerebral story about postpartum depression and you don't mind questioning constantly if things are actually happening or they're not, I say give this book a shot. Uh, if you like, again, if you want to try it, it's on Scribed right now, or at least it was about a month ago when I finished it. Yes, I'm that far behind, guys. I apologize, but we're, we're doing the best that we can. Um, this channel has always been a hobby of mine and I... I, it unfortunately it has to take a back seat to other to other things when other things start going well even though this channel is going we're almost at 10k can you believe that i can't i mean i, I remember a time when i was fighting for a thousand subscribers and now i do no promotion um there's sometimes weeks and months go by without me posting a video and you guys are still subscribing so i love you for and most of you are still here so i love you for it um, I appreciate you. Uh, go out and check this book. Go check this book out. See if it's your thing. Uh, like I said, be forewarned about the trigger warning. Um, be forewarned that it is surreal and cerebral and you're not 100% sure what's going on. Um, some parts were very, very disturbing, um, but... I, 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 that's the reason why it's so high, but I had to take a star off because it was a little, I don't know. I believe that there's a, there's such a thing as too much ambiguity. I guess that's it. And then with this one, uh, I, I appreciated the story. Um, I liked the characters well enough. Um, not enough to remember their names, unfortunately. But uh, uh, I do remember 
I do I do know that I liked Helen Phillips uh, the need much more than this one. I gave that one five stars. I'm giving this one four stars. And I think it all had to do with the delivery. There's nothing wrong with the story, nothing really wrong with the characters. Uh, they all serve a purpose and they're all just fine. But uh, the, the thing, it's it's the themes that I think Phillips did better. And I hate that this review is a as an entire comparison between these two authors. But I, I try to find, if I don't enjoy something, I try to find a, a commonality. I try to find something that I can point to. I do the same thing in my writing. I use a lot of metaphor and simile. So I try to point to things as like, okay, if you like the idea of this book and you tend to agree with me about how, you know, about books, then maybe read The Need. But if you read The Need and you wanted something, I guess, different in the same realm, then definitely... Uh, you could definitely check this one out, but I would say check this one out anyways, just because it is a decent book. It'll probably be better for you if you have not read The Need. I think that's all my thoughts, uh, for this video, and, uh, yeah, I, I appreciate you guys. I just want to say that there at the end, I've been, uh, in my feels a lot lately with how well the channel's going and how well life is going in general, so, uh, but... We're, we're going cool places and I'm glad that you guys are joining me on the journey. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.